Hey, chiropractors, welcome to Modern Chiropractic Mastery with your host, Dr. Kevin Christie, where we discuss the latest in marketing, business, and professional growth with some of the leading experts in the industry. Welcome to another episode of Modern Chiropractic Mastery. This is your host, Dr. Kevin Christie, and today I'm bringing you just a solo episode of some marketing updates. We want to keep you up to date on marketing. That was the uh, genesis of this uh, whole business and this podcast. It's obviously been rebranded to the podcast, Modern Chiropractic Mastery, and in our programs really entail all things practice growth, whether that's business, marketing, finances, communication, leadership, hiring, all the things. I mean, there's a million things. And luckily, we've put a lot of good people around us on our team, and I've continued to uh, learn and grow, and the mastermind has helped, and we've ultimately helped many chiropractors. We have quite a few of them under our marketing and coaching programs. Uh, we have quite a few clinics in our mastermind, and want to just remind you, uh, we do have openings for the West Mastermind in 2025. Just go to modernchiropracticmarketing.com and you'll see a tab at the top for Mastermind. And you can check out uh, the West. You can look at, you know, this year is what we did, our groups East and West. And then uh, look at the West group for 2025. We're really excited to have a great lineup of guest presenters for different weekends. Weekend one is Dr. Mark King on leadership. Weekend two is Dr. Holly Tucker on all things profit first for chiropractors. She's going to teach you actually how to have profit. Imagine that. And actually be able to have tangible profit. One of the things I think you get confused about, and I know I did for years, was your accountant or your bookkeeper at the end of the year would say, oh, yeah, great news. You had $50,000 in profit last year. And you look at your bank account and it's like, well, where's the $50,000? And that's a common issue and not understanding what profit is and what actually hard money is in your bank account. and Holly's going to um, work us all through that, which will be great. Weekend three is going to be exciting with Dr. Brett Winchester, and that's on having the it factor in your practice. And, you know, many of you maybe have seen him uh, present clinically in person. Uh, we were lucky enough this year earlier for the East Group in January of 2024 to have him speak on this same it factor. And it's a real deep dive, four hours and insights into his business mind. And you'd be surprised with what you'll learn from uh, Brett uh, from a business standpoint. He's honestly amazing at, at business, but from an ethical uh, standpoint and from a clinician's standpoint. And it's uh, pretty cool to see what it takes to have a great practice. And he shares that with us in weekend three. And then weekend four, we meet up together with the East Group in New Orleans. We have a few speakers, myself included, Dr. Jay Greenstein on all things AI and technology. And then kind of our uh, main headliner for the weekend is the guest facilitator from The Great Game of Business. You can Google that if you'd like, The Great Game of Business. There's a book, there's a company, there's a program, and we are fortunate enough to bring them into New Orleans for our meetup there. So check that out. That is modernchiropracticmarketing.com. You will see a tab there that says Mastermind and then reach out to me. There are some qualifications you need to be uh, at to, to get into it, but we'd love to have you if you meet those and if you feel like you would gain and you would give to the mastermind because it is a true mastermind group. These are high-level folks doing big things together. It's not about one person. It's not about me. It's not about the guest presenter. It is a collective and we do uh, produce results. Let's take a break from today's episode and announce our first sponsor. This is going to be Propel Marketing and Design. I've known Darcy Sullivan for years. We've worked hand in hand on my websites. I don't trust anybody else uh, to do this search engine optimization. She does a great job. There's there's so much to it. A lot of a lot of the lingo and the words are beyond my uh, comprehension, but it's just amazing work that she does. And if you're really going to get results with Google, you have to make sure your website is SEO optimized. And I really don't want you doing it yourself as a chiropractor. So I, you, you just have to have this type of stuff done. And if you're looking to get more organic online traffic that pulls in new patients, Propel Marketing and Design is currently offering chiropractors who listen to this podcast a free SEO website review. 
The free review will help you uncover methods that will improve your website and boost your search engine visibility. Head over to propelyourcompany.com slash chiropractor and schedule your free SEO website review. You won't regret it. She gets great results. Your website needs this. Your search results need this. Head on over there to propelyourcompany.com slash chiropractor to get your free SEO website review. All right, so let's dive in. I got five things for you today um, on some marketing updates. First thing I learned, uh, I was at Jay Greenstein's. I mentioned him earlier. I was at his business adjustment summit in DC I presented at. And I think it was during his presentation because uh, it was all things AI and technology. It, he talked about a, um, an AI tool called Opus Clip, O-P-U-S space clip, C-L-I-P. So if you have some long form video, maybe you did an injury prevention workshop in your community and you videotaped it. Uh, maybe you have some 10, 15, 20 minute videos you've done and you can actually run that entire video into Opus Clip and then it'll spit out a handful, a good amount of little clips that are pertinent and they would, the clip would begin and end at a right time, right? It wouldn't be just a random in the middle of a sentence type of deal, it would cherry pick really good clips out of your long form video so that you could have shorter form video. Maybe, you know, you get 60 to 90 second clips and you could take those clips and make them uh, Instagram reels or shorts, however you want to see fit. But you might have some really good video you've done over the last few years out in the community or in your clinic, uh, or you shot longer form videos for YouTube you can now take those and get short clips for shorter format videos. So Opus Clip, O-P-U-S space clip. Uh, really excited about that one. Number two is IG Reels. I kind of just mentioned that. Uh, you know, Instagram is, is, is probably the best platform right now as far as social media for chiropractors. From what I'm seeing, I know there's some people doing better on Facebook. I know there's some people doing better on TikTok and maybe YouTube, but in general, most chiropractors seem to be doing the best on Instagram. And Instagram's got a handful of things, right? Regular posts and stories and then reels. And reels are going to be 90 seconds or less, short form reels, and you got to catch their attention. Um, our associate, Dr. Gage Winkles, is doing a great job with the reels for our practice. And, and he's kind of working through that. And as we do that, we are... Um, providing our, we're going to be providing our MCM coaching clients and marketing clients with that uh, information and potentially down the road, a, a service for them to, to do it for them. They would obviously have to shoot the video, uh, but then we could take it from there and optimize it. And there's a lot of little things from that, but um, start looking at what some of your chiropractic colleagues are doing on, on the reels. Again, it's 90 seconds or less and how they're doing that and getting some traction on it. But we're seeing uh, quite a bit of views and a lot of uh, insights on that. And at some point, once once me and uh, Gage are kind of um, feel like we're at, we got a good grasp of things and some of the insights for health in our practice over over at least a three month period of time, uh, we'll be share, willing to share some of those insights and what we're seeing with that. But I just wanted to get that out there. Um, start looking into Instagram Reels if you're not. Many of you already are, uh, but there are certain ways to to optimize that. And I will have an update for you on that. All right, let's take a minute break from our show to talk about one of our sponsors, Genesis Chiropractic Software. And to do that, I have my great friend, Dr. Jay Greenstein, who's going to tell you about Genesis. Doc, how are you doing today? I want you to give us a short understanding of what Genesis Software has done for your practices. Kevin, I'm going to make it super easy. He's done three really important things for us. Genesis has made us more efficient. Because the system actually manages process instead of people, we are very, very efficient in understanding what needs to get done, what has gotten done, what is not getting done, and what to do about it next. Secondarily, it's made us more information enabled. Because we can run reports and analytics right out of the system, we have so much information about the status of our patients. Um, we have so much information about the status of our business that we can make much better decisions as clinicians and business owners in order to ensure we get the best outcomes and have the most income. And lastly, because of all of these great functions that, that Genesis has, 
it's made us more profitable because if we can be more efficient and if we are more information enabled, it means we don't need as much labor. And so for us, we've been able to actually eliminate entire positions like our front desk CA. We don't need front desk CAs anymore because operationally we are, we are moving much more efficiently. We are managing the practice much more efficiently and therefore we need less staff. All the people in our clinic, they are uh, income producing, revenue producing people. And so we function uh, in our, all of our clinics without the use of front desk CAs and all of that is due to Genesis. Thanks, Jay. And you can go to bit.ly forward slash Genesis MCM to check out more. Uh, number three, email is still amazing. <laughs> as much as we want to get uh, real clever and fancy uh, with our marketing, and that's great. Um, the, the email is amazing for chiropractic practices. My recommendation is weekly content-rich email to your patients, and then you can sprinkle in some promos if you need to, uh, or some updates, right? Like we just updated our patients. We are enacting a um, weight cancellation no-show policy in our practice. It was about time. And so, yeah, we sent an email about that. So that's different than our weekly content. That's an update. Uh, so clinic updates and promos, fine here and there. Sprinkle those in, but not too often, but your weekly email content should be good. And what you need to do you just keep them on the email, right? Most of the people on there, on your email list are going to be current and past patients. Uh, one of the strategies you would see, say, a website that sells product would be to put a blog and have that, like, a read, read the rest of the blog here or read more here. And you click on it, it takes you to the website because they want to get you to the website to, uh, to obviously buy something. With us, we're not really doing that. And if you have something else going on, that's fine. But if you're just, you know, we're talking about email for a chiropractic practice. Most of these patients already been to your clinic. Uh, we don't need to get them from the email to your website. Uh, what you should do is put the entire blog or video with written copy or what have you on the email, let them consume it in the email, and then have all the scheduling options at the bottom of the email and the template, right? Phone number, uh, link to, you know, button to click to schedule online if you have that. And so email is still just uh, amazing. It's going to do phenomenal for your reactivations of past patients. And it's actually going to drive new patients. One of the things I just wanted to kind of touch on within this today is we think of emails as reactivations, and that is definitely the bread and butter of emails for chiropractors. But if you stay consistently in front of your patient base, and that's weekly via email, you're going to stay top of mind of your past patients. And one of the scenarios that happens, I'm going to give you two scenarios. Clinic A does not email their patients and stay in front of them. Clinic B does. Clinic A patient is at work and complaining of headaches, and Clinic A's patient, their coworker says, "Oh, you got to go see my chiropractor. She's great with headaches." You, the patient, your patient, had forgotten about you, hadn't been in in a year, and kind of just forgot about it. And when that uh, colleague of theirs is uh, really adamant about them seeing uh, their chiropractor, there's a high chance they're going to take them up on that, and. Um, they're not going to necessarily reactivate into your clinic like they would. That's a reactivation situation. But now let's actually tell the same story and let's just kind of flip it, right? Um, the other colleague is complaining of headaches and your patient has not got anything from you. Email for a while. That patient, the, the colleague complains, your patient doesn't think of you and just says, oh, I hope you can find someone for that, right? Now, if you, Clinic B, who is emailing their patient base consistently and staying top of mind, when that colleague complains of headaches, your patient, who hasn't even been in, in the scene for a year, is still thinking of you consistently and recommends you to that colleague. And now you've got a higher chance of a new patient. So that's happening all the time. The more you stay top of mind on your patient base, the more referrals are driven to your practice, even if those patients aren't actively coming into your practice. And that's one of the beauties of email. Everybody talks about the reactivation, and that is definitely the king. But, you know, the queen of it, it would be um, the fact that you're going to get new, more new patients about it because you're staying top of mind. And when people around them, friends, families, and colleague members complain of something, there's a higher chance they're going to recommend you and, and they're going to have new patients coming into your practice. So you got to check out email if you're not doing it. If you're only doing emails for updates or promos, that's not going to work. 
and you got to be consistently getting content out to your patients. All right, number four, um, don't worry too much about the Google update that's floating around there. Obviously, Google is trying to keep people, you know, they answer the question. Like if you typed in what to do about my back pain, uh, you know, they're, they're going to try to answer that question right in Google. And, and a lot of people complain about that. And there's a lot of product websites um, that are struggling with that. They used to have a lot of traffic because they would do a lot of good blogging and, and SEO and all that stuff. And people would say, like, what's the best dog food for my dog? And it would send them to a website. And that website would get a lot of traffic because they did a great job of creating content and putting it on their website. But now that Google is trying to answer everything in its platform, a lot of those sites are starting to lose um, visitors and it's really impacting their business. As right now, I don't want you to worry about that for your practice because you are a physical location and typically um, people are going to say, you know, chiropractor Boca Raton and uh, Google is smart enough to know that they're looking for someone physically to go to and it's going to pull up uh, physical locations with that. Now, if someone is searching in, you know, neck pain, what to do about neck pain, there might be a little bit of decreased opportunity for people to get into your website, but I just don't think it's going to move the needle as much as these other businesses. So don't worry too much about that. So I just wanted to make short mention of it. Let's take a short break for one of our great sponsors, TrackStat. It is a new type of software plugin for your EHR that combines patient communication, marketing, automation, and statistics with patient and employee tracking. Built by chiropractors for chiropractors, it shows your team what to focus on each day. See patient visit habits, missing information, unpaid bills, insurance collection visit average, and more. Great visibility of data so you can focus on filling your office with your best patients. When you can see what your staff and patients are doing or not doing and take action accordingly, your profits naturally grow. Take TrackStat for a test drive in your office with our free trial. Not a techie, no problem, we can help. To get started on your free trial, visit trackstat.org and watch the demo. That is trackstat.org. And then last but not least is uh, number five, and it's something I spoke about during Jay's event that I talked about, was a strategic coach concept called the front stage backstage, right? And so the front stage is going to be um, the, what they see, right? So they use the example of the play. You go to a play, you see the front stage, you see the, the theatrical play. Uh, what you don't see is the backstage that makes that happen. You don't see the writers and the producers, the costume designers, all the rehearsals, all the things that go into making a theatrical play entertaining, right? And so that's the front stage and the backstage. And the same thing with your business. There's a front stage with the patient's experience and what they see, what they feel, they smell, they hear, all that. And then there's the backstage to make that happen. And one of the things I talked about in my talk was many of you have a poor community outreach plan. You could actually be good at it. Like the front stage of that would be you having a coffee with someone or you doing an injury prevention workshop or you doing a demo day at a running store or you working a running event. Uh, I mean, the list is endless, right? You having lunch with an MD. Th those are all be the front stage of the actual act of doing it. Um, but many of you don't have the backstage to support that and you're not um, planning ahead. You're not tracking it well. You're not cultivating relationships. You don't know who you met with six months ago. You haven't had a follow up with those folks. And the backstage of your community outreach is not there to support it. Maybe you don't have the right team members right now. Uh, maybe you're too busy. Uh, you're too busy, but you need more patients. And you haven't done a, the, the proper planning around that. Um, that's something we've been really hitting hard in our, um, in our coaching. Um, Dr. Ashley Jordan, one of our associate coaches, does a monthly creative call. And a lot of that is around community outreach and coming up with great ideas and cultivating that. And the idea generation of it is also a backstage. Uh, but then um, our Chiropractic Success Academy, and if you haven't checked that out, go to csacircle.com. That's $99 a month, very affordable. You get a ton of information. It's self-guided, uh, but we do have a CSA digital dashboard and our coaching clients with MCM actually have access to that dashboard as well because CSA is included in the MCM programs. Uh, but we have a whole, like, I mean, it's just amazing the dashboard we have now where you can build your network. Uh, we've got community outreach calendar. We've got four different tools 
for you to use to have a really good backstage for your community outreach. One of those tools is the My Network tool, which tracks all your potential referring partners and your referring partners, and you you organize that and you keep tabs of it. Uh, we have a an events calendar. We put all your events on there as a as a clinic, and your, all your team members can see it. It also syncs with your Google uh, calendar. the The third thing we have is a Allied Health Network, which tracks all of your healthcare referrals that you send people out to, whether it's for medical or for performance. That's been a, a big hit from our clients. And then lastly, we have the referral directory, which is essentially a directory tool where, um, it, you know, if, if one of your patients has an expert and you can connect with that expert, you know, they, they come into the back pain, they have a golf pro and you, you say, Hey, I'd love to talk to your golf pro about your back condition and see what we can do to work together. And maybe you can do this right now, but maybe not this as far as golf instruction or golf. Do you mind if I reach out to your golf pro? Your patient's going to love the fact that uh, you're collaborating with their experts in their health and performance, whether it's their personal trainer, their massage therapist, their acupuncturist, their teaching pro, their fitness instructor, their, um, I mean, the list goes on, even their doctors, right? And so we have a tool in there to teach you how to do that and leverage your patient bases experts to connect in the community, but at the same time, providing world-class care to your patient because you're collaborating with people that have to do with their health and performance. So uh, that's the front stage, backstage. We're really trying to work on optimizing our chiropractors backstage, whether it's from a marketing standpoint or a business standpoint. Many of you complain about not having systems and the, 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 the lack of systems is you just haven't, you don't, maybe don't have the wherewithal and I didn't for a long time. And so we are really working um, hard with our chiropractors on making sure they have great backstage systems to support an amazing front stage. And that front stage may be the patient experience when they're in your practice, or it may be what the community sees, kind of your brand, right? And that's what we're hitting hard for our chiropractors. So those are my top five things. Again, just a real re quick recap. We talked about Opus Clip. We talked about IG Reels. Email is still amazing. Don't worry about the Google update. And lastly, front stage, backstage. Have a great week, and we'll continue to make sure you stay top of your game and all things practice growth. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode. And if you want to make the shift from busy, broke, and broken to time-free and cash confident, or you just want to continue with the exponential growth, Check us out at modernchiropracticmarketing.com. Look at the MCM Mastery tab. Watch the short video on there and check out what we are doing now for evidence-informed chiropractors. We are equal parts coaching and marketing done for you. Yes, you shoot some videos. We help you with campaign strategies and ideas and really become a thought leader in your community. You shoot those videos. You send them to us. We produce, edit, and brand them to you. Then we distribute them through all of your channels. We also take them and we turn it into one good blog per month. And every other month, we have Darcy Sullivan producing a robust blog with a topic that you pick from her database to help with your SEO. So we essentially become your content marketing agency to make sure your practice is always having ethical, elegant content marketing to help grow your practice. On the coaching side, we also help you with everything from marketing ideas to business, communications, finances, anything practice growth and really try to help prevent you from being stuck on that island. And we hold you accountable. We have a great group of doctors that are just doing amazing things. And we look forward to help you out to take that next step in your practice. So again, check us out at modernchiropracticmarketing.com and learn more.